I don't think I've ever been more excited to share one of my designs. I've been working on updating my random maze generator, video on that coming soon, and I've been looking for a way to randomize the generation point so that the path to the exit is less predictable. You see, if the generation point is static and you know where that generation point is, then all you have to do is move first in the direction of the generation point and then in the direction of the exit. This makes the maze really easy to solve. If I could find a way to randomly select a generation point based on the X and Z coordinates of the maze, then the mazes would be much more challenging overall. The only problem is that current redstone randomizers aren't very good. I haven't even found a design that's expandable beyond 16 outputs. And if my maze is theoretically infinitely expandable, then 16 outputs definitely won't cut it. So I set out to make an infinitely expandable redstone randomizer. This is the standard random output generator. Expanding this doesn't really help for my use case. Each slice would output independently of the others, so I end up with multiple triggers. And we definitely can't have that. Not to mention multiplying this also means multiplying the number of entities, so not great. I did build a few proof of concepts using this, with some help from Glotz as usual. I mean, you're not guaranteed, but on average you yeah. should... Well, you will then end up with multiple triggers in one cycle. But we couldn't quite get around the double trigger issues. Side note, I also expected this to need a static output, so I looked to connect a selector panel to the randomizer. Problem there is that I wasn't satisfied with any of the infinitely expandable instant selector panels that already exist, so I made one of those too. Big thanks to Kaizen for sharing his designs using his robust instant wire. Ultimately, I came up with this, which I'm pretty happy with. Back to the randomizer. While working through our failing designs, something came to me. Hmm. What if I didn't need a random output for each slice? What if I could just send a signal down one side of the randomizer and try and stop the signal somewhere along the way? Whoa. What if I used a random output at both ends and where the signals meet up is where I trigger the output? Now I'm onto something. This is the final outcome of that idea with some specific timings and an improved random output generator that doesn't rely on entities, I created something that I don't think has ever been created before. This is a one wide tileable design. The clocks at either end need to be in sync, so make sure that the delays to activate them are the same. It relies on the leading signals crashing together, so it will never have more than a single output at once. For this design, the signal length needs to be 4 ticks, so don't mess with this repeater. The distribution of the randomizer also seems pretty fair. Here's a breakdown of outputs across 32 slices. Depending on number of outputs, you'll need to tweak how often you're sending a random signal. The more outputs, the fewer random signals you want to send. I achieved that here by chaining two of these random output generators together. Using the same concept, we can also space out the randomizer. No longer needing comparator cutoffs and slowing the clocks down a bit, you could space it out up to a 9 wide tileable design. Like I said, I'm super excited about this randomizer, and I'm working now on implementing it into my maze generator. But I hope someone out there can find other uses for this. Thanks again YouTube, and have a great day.